You're crazy. Am I? Yes. Am I? Yes. Am I? Once again, another black man in America gets shot in the back by a police officer for resisting arrest. Yeah. Wow. This is one of those examples where what, what I would say is this. The black guy resisted arrest, resisted arrest yeah? And people argue that it, the, the, him getting shot was justifiable according to police law or police practice, yeah? So if that's the case, yeah, which it is, right, why isn't it more common in other groups, yeah? And I think that's where the issue comes from, right? In the sense that if it is just standard procedure that the minute you walk into the realm of resisting arrest, yeah, and you don't comply and you look like a threat, the police have the right to shoot you in order to defend themselves, yeah, then how is it that... Good Samaritans to the rescue. They helped a deputy who was allegedly attacked and tased by a Plant City man on drugs. Cam video shows Pasco deputy Darren Goodwall just moments after a suspect attacked him with his own taser. Well, as soon as I grabbed him, it locked both of us up. The deputy says the struggle started after he pulled over 30-year-old Brian Roquet in Dade City Tuesday. He jumped out of the vehicle. He looked at me um, and taunted me to kind of chase him, gave me the, come on, let's go. The arrest report shows Roque tried to carjack a woman, failed and took off once again. Goodwald tackled Roque when he caught up to him, but when the deputy went to radio for backup, he says Roque grabbed his taser, stunning them both. The suspect also reportedly tried to take the deputy's gun. So as you can see in the video, the cop even states that, you know what, there was a bit of rough and tumble and, you know what I mean, there was a scuffle and he was all kind of doing all kind of negative things, yeah? He was being a nuisance, right? Now, like I says, in the in in if it's a part of the rule that you are allowed to shoot someone in self-defense or because you feel that they're a threat, then why didn't the cop just shoot him? Yeah? And I think for me that is the essence of why you had Black Lives Matter. Because at the end of the day, or one of the one of the essences or one of the reasons, yeah, is because of the that injustice. And it seems to me that as someone who's observing from outside of America, Europe and so forth and so on, yeah? They're saying, well, hold on a second. There were so many videos of black people doing stupidness and ain't denying they were doing wrong, they were resisting resist, blah, 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 blah. But there are so many videos of white people doing exactly the same thing and they don't get shot. You know what I mean, right? And that, to me, is an injustice there, yeah? Or let's just say, let's say uh, there's a, a racial conflict there. Yeah, because you can't put it down to anything else. If you got, if you're gonna, if you're saying that resisting re resisting arrest is resisting arrest, and the outcome is you could get shot, yeah, then it should be across the board for everybody, right? But then when you see stories like this where you can have a black man resisting arrest get shot, you see a white person resisting arrest and he's gonna get questioned, handcuffed, yeah, you can see where the problem lies, don't you? Yeah. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Right? I'm out. Peace. Yes. Am I? Yes. Am I? Yes.